Hello everyone, uh, in this video uh, I am trying to discuss about masking in off engine. In off engine we have different masking functions uh, and I have collected all these codes from the example section uh, from off engine uh, developer space and I hope this will be helpful to everyone uh, trying to learn about masking. So we start here with the sentinel to image add it as the layer and after that we provide this function dot mask to the image and in the next case here we are selecting the band one and provide this dot mask so as soon as we run this uh, we get this one here the white blank layer and what this does is this dot mask uh, creates this white layer because it is uh, creating this uh, valid pixels as value of 1 and invalid pixels of value, value as 0. So this is because uh, of that reason uh, we see this um, white layer or white canvas. So this is uh, useful when we want to um, we, when, when we want to, uh, you know, um, know the valid pixels and unvalid pixels. So this is the very first function, dot mask. And then we have this next important function, self mask. And again, we have the sentinel to image added as the layer. And after that, we are selecting the band 11. And we use this dot zt. This is the uh, boolean land, uh, sorry, boolean operator, uh, which stands for greater than. And anything uh, value greater than this will have the uh, value of one, and less than this value will have zero. So this is to create a two different uh, values from those pixels or the binary image. Um, so this is the first one. And then we provide this dot self mask, and this dot self mask um, uh, creates or makes those uh, pixels values which are zero to be invalid. So we can see here in the land if we click, this has got this one uh, one value in the both uh, both the cases, but if we click somewhere else, this creates the masked. So this dot self mask. Um, marks the land mask and it creates um, this zero or masked uh, to those area which is uh, with the value of zero. So this is the way how uh, self mask works. Then we have the next one that is unmask and in the unmask can we load this uh, single to image and we are creating this um, let us untick this first here. So the first one here is the uh, boolean land mask that we saw earlier, creating the two different values. Then after we have the uh, dot update mask. Uh, this is the new one. And when we use this uh, mask, um, this uh, makes only the image appear of those uh, valid section. So we can see here uh, the image of the land only being shown. And then here we have dot on mask uh, with the sum value. And what it does, it's, uh, it gives those uh, no data value with the specific uh, value of this one. So if we check the inspector, we can see that one. And uh, this um, value will be provided to all those uh, marked pixels. So this is done by dot on mask. And then here we have the dot on mask, and it again fills those uh, marked pixels with the default value of zero. And in the process, it also creates a uh, black layer. And furthermore, if we provide this um, same footprint at false, 
So anything beyond the emis will also have the uh, value of zero. So we can see everywhere else is now the value of zero. So this is done when the same footprint is provided as false. Then there is this uh, next uh, very cool way uh, to fill the image. So here we have the image. This is the send node to image. Uh, and then we provide this uh, image to this dot on mask function. And what it does is anything that is um, that has zero values or that is uh, black in color will have filled uh, image now. And this is being taken from the next image. So we are um, joining the two different images here. So this is the from the original image, and the, this uh, this one is from the uh, new image. So we are filling the masked pixels with different images. So this is all about the unmask. Then we have the update mask, um, and again we have the image. Sentinel to image edit as the layer. We have the um, Boolean land mask, and this is again creating value of zero and one. Then we are updating the mask, uh, showing the image of the land only. And here we are. Uh, this is the new one here. We are selecting the three different bands, and and. Those uh, created band subset, we provide this greater than uh, boolean operator again. And if we see uh, in the band specific uh, marks here, we are providing this one. So this is uh, working in that way that each of these bands will have now uh, this uh, boolean operator being applied. And then we, call, we can also do this dot operate mask to that uh, that one, and you can see that uh, this is being applied to the uh, three different band subset. So this is to show that uh, even when we uh, do this uh, function, this is being applied to all the uh, bands here. And then we have the um, way to make the image transparent. So we had created this uh, land mask at the very first one. This is the uh, Boolean land mask. And in that Boolean land mask, uh, we can add this uh, constant. And when we update that mask, it creates the transparent image based on that one. So we can change that value and uh, see what it results. So overall, uh, these are the process of masking uh, in Art Engine. Um, so uh, the masking is again very important um, when we try to do our uh, remote sensing analysis, uh, and these are very much helpful uh, to learn. Thank you for uh, watching.